एवरीवन आई एम भूमिका इंदुलिया एंड आई एम ह्योर विद द टॉप टेन मस्ट नो सुप्रीम कोर्ट जजमेंट्स एंड स्टोरीज फ्रॉम द मंथ ऑफ जनवरी This year began with the Constitution Bench upholding the constitutionality of 2016 demonetization scheme. While Justice B R Gawai wrote the majority opinion for himself and Justices S A Nazir, A S Bopanna, V Ramasubramanian to uphold the legality of 2016 demonetization, Justice B V Nagratna was the lone dissenter. who held that though demonetization was well intentioned and well thought of the manner in which it was carried out was improper and unlawful after sp leader azam called the unfortunate inst- incident of 2016 gang rape of a minor and her mother in uttar pradesh a political conspiracy only and nothing else the constitution bench was called upon to decide the scope of freedom of speech of ministers justice v ramasubramanian delivered the verdict for himself and justices s a nazir a s bupanna b r gawai to hold that government cannot be vicariously held liable for the statements made by the ministers and that no further restrictions were needed on the freedom of speech of the ministers However, Justice B V Nagratna dissented on certain issues in both these Constitution Bench judgments. Justice B V Nagratna was the lone dissenter on certain issues. After it was brought to the court notice that the procedure for terminally ill patients to exercise their right to die as prescribed in 2018 Ethiopia judgment is very inconvenient and requires simplification. A five-judge constitution bench of K M Joseph, Ajay Rastogi, Anirudh Bose, Rishikesh Roy, C T Ravi Kumar simplified the process for passive euthanasia. A tabular comparison of the original guidelines and the modified ones can be read on the S E C online blog. Link is given in the description below. In a big win for Sikhmis, the bench of M R Shah and B V Nagaratna. held that all indians or old indian settlers who have permanently settled in sikkim prior to the merger of sikkim with india on 26th april 1975 irrespective of whether his or her name is recorded in the register maintained under the sikkim subjects regulation 1961 read with sikkim subject rules 1961 or not are entitled to the exemption under income tax act Exclusion of a Sikkimese woman who marries a non-Sikkimese after 1 April 2008 from exempted category is without any reasonable justification and was hence struck down for being unconstitutional. Both the judges wrote separate but concurrent opinions. The bench comprising of C J I Dr D Y Chandrachu and P S Narasimha has held that allowing movie goers to carry their own food and beverages to a movie hall would be akin to permitting a customer who visits a restaurant to carry their own food and eat it within the premises of that restaurant so if you don't want to eat the overpriced food at the movies then either eat before you go or eat after the movie but don't crib After the Uttaranchal High Court ordered the railways and local authorities to demolish the structures and evict the 50,000 unauthorized occupants in Haldwani in order to remove encroachment from railways land within 7 days the bench comprising of justice Sanjay Kishan Kaul and Abhay S Oka stayed the order and observed that 50,000 people cannot be uprooted overnight The court has observed that a workable arrangement has to be arrived at to segregate people who may have no rights in the land and those who have coupled with rehabilitation schemes. The bench of justice Suryakant and J K Maheshwari granted interim bail to Ashish Mishra, son of Union Minister Ajay Mishra, for eight weeks. in an unfortunate and grave incident at lakhimpur kheri which led to the loss of 8 lives interestingly two cases in the lakhimpur kheri incident have been pending before the court
as Mishra has been in custody for more than a year and trial is not expected to be concluded soon, owing to the large volume of oral and documentary evidence. The court thought fit to grant interim bail to Mishra. The bench comprising of CJI Dr. D.Y. Chandstu, P.S. Narasimha and J.B. Pardiwala upheld the enclad order wherein it had refused to stake CCI's order and had directed Google LLC to deposit 10% of the penalty, quantified by the order of the CCI for abuse of dominance in relation to Android ecosystem. CCI had imposed Rs. 1,338 crore penalty on Google LLC for unfair and anti-competitive practices in relation to Android phones. In a much-needed change, the constitution benches were a regular site in January. We have already talked about three constitution bench verdicts delivered by the Supreme Court earlier in the video. Apart from those, four constitution bench judgments have been reserved, including the Bhopal gas tragedy compensation case, the Delhi vs. Center trussel, validity of an unstamped arbitration agreement, and decriminalization of adultery. Constitution benches also assembled to hear three more cases. In these six years, Justice Nazir had been a part of big decisions such as right to privacy, triple talaq, Ayodhya verdict, etc. He was also the part of the majority verdict by the Constitution bench that decided the validity of Centre's government 2016 demonetization scheme as well as the scope of freedom of speech of ministers. With that, we come to the end of our Supreme Court January 2023 roundup. A comprehensive roundup of not just these top 10 judgments and stories, but a lot more can be read on the SEC online blog. So keep watching, keep learning and keep reading the SEC online blog for the best analytical legal news.